Hey, hi guys, it's Anthony and Eddie here. And as promised in a recent video yesterday, we are going to do some new content and this is looking at M&A transactions. And I mentioned this because Eddie did a really great post on LinkedIn earlier today talking about an FT story about Goldman's purchasing a Dutch insurer's investment management arm for 1.6 billion euros. So Eddie, what's, what's going on with Goldman's in that deal? Yeah, Goldman's along with all the other investment banks have been yeah really active uh, this year and also last year, and they've continued to gobble up uh, different asset management and wealth management firms and arms. And this is really in the latest wave of kind of asset management consolidation and kind of financial institution consolidation. Um, so they've basically agreed uh, a deal with or to buy NN Group, uh, which is a kind of asset management arm of a Dutch insurance company for 1.6 billion. Um, and they have 355 billion in assets under management. And basically the rationale behind this deal is that it significantly expands uh, Goldman's European asset management presence. Um, and what's really interesting about this is if we look at other kind of deals that have taken place, uh, let's say Morgan Stanley acquiring Eaton Vance uh, and E-Trade last year, JP Morgan have been super active this year. Uh, they've acquired firms like Open Invest um, and Nutmeg as well for about 700 uh, million. So there's a lot of uh, activity right now in the kind of investment banking and asset management space. So, so what, what does all that kind of mean going forward? Like, so if you're a student perhaps and you've got interviews coming up, what's the main thing is to just keep an eye on as a trend in this space? Yeah, definitely. So the first thing is being aware of these deals of course taking place and then really asking and looking at those deals and thinking okay why are they making these acquisitions and these transactions so we can break it down uh, as a kind of more macro trend for all these investment banks that are looking to acquire firms like open invest and nutmeg and e-trade why are they doing this okay so let's take a look at um, a few of the kind of rationales behind these deals so for example goldman and nn group it's really about scaling their asset management platforms to really diversify away from the more traditional investment banking fees, uh, like trading, like investment banking in the sense of M&A, ECM and DCM transactions. So like you saw from the re recent uh, kind of investment banking results that come out, there was a big miss um, for pretty much all the investment banks in something called FIC trading. Okay, so again, it depends on market conditions, depends on the performance of the traders. Um, so that can take uh, a big, it can provide a big hit to the earnings if they miss on something like this. So acquiring all of these different asset management arms and kind of inherently in the asset management and wealth management space, the fees are generally more stable and very, very lucrative. So they're looking to kind of diversify away from just those particularly could be potentially volatile uh, income streams. Um, other kind of big macro trends at the moment is ESG. So gaining exposure to ESG to satisfy the growing client demand uh, for these kind of uh, environmentally, social and government friendly uh, companies. So for example, JP Morgan acquiring Open Invest, this allows customers to customize their portfolios based on ESG metrics. So companies that satisfy X, Y, Z in terms of the ESG checklist. Um, other massive trends, as we know, fintechs, um, you know, increasingly prevalent if you look at firms like Revolut achieving massive valuations they're really the big disruptors in this kind of banking financial institution space so uh, firms like JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs are looking to acquire these fin fintechs to support their digital transformation uh, in terms of providing kind of things like digital wallets and things like that it's also quite a nuanced thing in, in the sense of they're also trying to avoid acquisitions with their bigger kind of banking rivals, because of course that would come under a lot of regulatory scrutiny. Uh, scrutiny. And uh, by acquiring these kind of smaller, faster growing fintechs, it, cause it can bypass some of the regulatory deposit caps. Um, so that's why they're kind of doing that. Again, um, we've over the last kind of 2020 and 2021 that we've covered a lot on this channel, the retail trading boom, if it's, if it's options, if it's kind of crypto, um, E-Trade was a massive winner um, in that kind of 2020 period and then was acquired by Morgan Stanley. So again, um, getting exposure to that boom in retail trading activity, that acquisition by Morgan Stanley looks fantastic right now. Um, and of course, 
the big elephants in the room, your Black Rocks, your Vanguards, the big passive investment behemoths, um, these investment banks are looking at these guys and thinking, wow, I want a piece of that action. Uh, so they're trying to compete with those passive investment streams and that industry is, you know, it's growing massively, you know, has been and is continuing to grow. Uh, the private capital industry as well that we can cover in another video is growing massively. So these investment banks are looking to take a, get a piece of the, these really growing uh, kind of uh, areas. And again, the, you know, in terms of the macro uh, framework, interest rates are record lows, monetary policy is extremely loose. So there's immense pressure on the net interest margins of these traditional banks. So they're not making a lot of money from borrowing from the central banks and lending out to all these corporations at the moment. So they're looking really to get exposure through things like ESG, uh, you know, retail deposits like Marcus um, and, you know, asset, asset management flows. Cool. Well, yeah, I'll let you take a breath there, Eddie. But, uh, there's a lot of look, a lot of great context there, and I think for sure, if you're a student watching this, that's what will make the difference when you're engaging in interaction with someone in an interview situation, applications. And I know there's a lot of people going through that now, so definitely feel free to drop Eddie a comment if there's questions or anything he's covered. If you need links to any of these deals and things like that, I'm sure he could provide color uh, and also. Uh, we'll drop that registration link again for the new Amplify Me uh, platform launch coming out on the 15th of September. And so, again, we'll be covering tons more stuff like this and, and other kind of great variety of different content. So any suggestions as well, let us know. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you for the next video. Thanks, Eddie. Awesome. Thanks, Ed.